Hello dear student. In the last lecture, we had an introductory discussion on embedded systems. As we have discussed in the last lecture, the hardware of an embedded system consists mainly of a processor. A processor in an embedded system is generally a microcontroller or a microprocessor chip. In this video, we will look into the processor chips of embedded applications. Processors are the heart of an embedded system. It is a basic unit that takes input and produces an output after processing the data. An embedded processor is a microprocessor used in an embedded system. An embedded processor is a microprocessor designed especially for undertaking the goals of an embedded gadget. A normal processor comes with a microprocessor chip. The peripherals are separate from the main chip ensuring extra strength intake. In this video, we will see the basic operator units, types of embedded processors such as general purpose processors which include microprocessor, microcontroller and digital signal processor. Also we will see single purpose embedded processors, application specific integrated circuit ASIC, application specific standard products ASSP, system on a chip SOC, field programmable gate array FPGA. We will also see the applications of embedded processors in different systems. Let's begin. A processor mainly has two essential units that is program flow control unit CU and the execution unit EU. The control unit includes a fetch unit for fetching instructions from the memory. The execution unit has circuits that implements the instruction pertaining the data transfer operation and data conversion from one form to another. The execution unit includes the arithmetic and logic unit ALU and also the circuits that execute instructions for a program control task such as inter interrupt, jump to another instruction sets etc. A process runs in cycles to fetch and execute the instructions in the same sequence as they were fetched from the memory. There are different types of embedded processors available in the market from different manufacturers. Those processors are used for different applications of embedded systems. They can be divided as a general purpose processors which include microprocessor, microcontroller and digital signal processor. They can also be separated as single purpose embedded processor application specific integrated circuits, application specific standard products, system on a chip, field programmable gate array. General purpose processors. A general purpose processor are embedded on embedded processor which are for general purpose applications that are not specific of any specific applications. In processors, the instruction based on a predefined general purpose instruction set. The processor inside the computer or a laptop at your hand is a typical example of a general purpose processor. The diagram shown here is a block diagram of a general purpose processor. Consider your laptop you have a CPU and after that you have a RAM, a ROM, an input output port that is a monitor and a keyboard. You have a timer inside and also a serial communication port. The serial communication port acts as an interface to other devices such as printers, mouse, etc. Microprocessor the microprocessor 
is a single very large scale integration that is VLSI chip that has the CPU and has several external units such as caches, registers, memories, floating point processing units and advanced processing units like pipelining and super scalar processing for faster and efficient operation. The CPU fetches an instruction from the set of general purpose instructions, decodes and executes it. The instruction set consists of instructions for arithmetic and logical operations, data transfer operations, control operations, etc. Is it 80? is a 8-bit microprocessor in, in, introduced by Zilog as a company's first product. 8085 is a 8-bit microprocessor introduced to the market by Intel in March 1976. They upgraded the 8-bit to 16-bit processor in the name of 8086 processor. Now Intel has a variety of processors at their hands and they are the front leaders in processor manufacturing for computers and laptop. SAMA 5D2, SAMA 5D3, etc. are the family of 32-bit microprocessors from microchip. More number of processors are available for different type of applications developed by top manufacturers like Intel, Texas, ARM, Altera, NXB, etc. Microcontroller the microcontroller is a type of general purpose operator. It is a general purpose processor. It has an integrated chip that has a processor, memory, registers, caches, timer and also interrupt control units and also input output ports. The system with a microcontroller is sometimes called a microcomputer. Since the microprocessor consists of all the functional blocks for its working, it is occupied a huge place in the embedded system. Intel's 8051 is a popular microcontroller during 1980s and 1990s. Most of the embedded system during that period utilized the 8051 controllers. After that, the microcontrollers evolved a lot in the embedded market through different manufacturers. The PIC, that is Programmable Interface Controllers, are microcontrollers in an embedded processor used for several new applications such as smartphones, audio accessories, video, game peripherals and advanced medical services. PIC 16, PIC 18, etc. are featured PIC families by microchip. The AVR microcontrollers over, uh, they offer unsurpassed performance, power efficiency and flexibility. Hence, they are an excellent choice for variety of embedded system designs. AVRDB, AVRDA, 80 Mega 4809, 80 Tiny 1607 are some of the featured AVR microcontroller families from microchip. ARM also advanced RISC machines where RISC stand for reduced instruction set computer. The ARM based uh, microcontrollers like S32K, EA microcontroller series, Mac 57D, XXX microcontrollers are products from NXP semiconductors used for automotive applications. The ARM based MCUs, the CT000 real-time MCUs, etc. from Texas Instruments have real-time control capabilities and high precision analog integration for optimized for industrial and automotive applications. Intel, Philips, ATML, ST Microelectronics, Maxim are some of the other key manufacturers of microcontrollers. Let us now take a look at the most notable differences between a microprocessor and a microcontroller. 
Microprocessors are multitasking in nature. They can perform multiple tasks at a time. For example, on computer we can play music while writing text in a text editor. Microcontroller is single task oriented. For example, a washing machine is designed for washing clothes only. Microprocessor has RAM, ROM, input output ports and timers and they can be added externally and can vary in numbers. While in microcontrollers, RAM, ROM, IO ports and timers cannot be added externally. These components are to be embedded together on a chip and are fixed in numbers. Microprocessor designers can decide the number of memory or input output ports needed. While microcontrollers have fixed the number of memory or input outputs, making the microcontroller ideal for a limited but specific task. External support and external memory of I.O. ports make a microprocessor based system heavier and costlier. Microcontrollers are lightweight, cheaper uh, than the microprocessor. External devices require more space and their power consumption is higher in the case of a microprocessor while a microcontroller based system consumes less power and takes less space. Digital signal processor is another type of general purpose processor. It is a specific purpose embedded processor designed to meet the computational and power demands of audio, video and communication applications. They are either 8-bit or 16-bit or 32-bit microprocessors designed for faster operation than a general purpose embedded processor. Digital signal processors have seen tremendous growth in the uh, recent decade, finding use in everything from smart telephone to advanced specific scientific instrumentations. Modern DSP architecture achieves high performance and low power through increased parallelism and reduces the power consumption. Some of products SOP calculation, convolution, fast Fourier transform, discrete Fourier transform, finite and infinite impulse response, etc. are some of the operations performed by digital signal processors. DSP 56FX and MSCHX are two families of recent digital signal processors from NXP semiconductors. Their processors are targeted at audio or video receivers, home theaters, surrounded sound decoders, mini stereo systems, digital TV audio systems, and automotive audio systems. ARM has also developed the DSP processors such as ARM Cortex-A, ARM Cortex-B, etc. with enhanced DSP instructions to support improved execution, performance and arithmetic operations. These processors provide a high level for signal processing. The programmable DSPs from Texas Instruments operate at a variety of embedded real-time signal processing applications including audio and aerospace as well as defense. They range from low-power single-core processors to high-power multi-core processors. The ST Microelectronics Analog Devices, Circus Logic, Infiltron Logic, uh, uh, technologies are some of the top manufacturers of digital signal processors. Single-purpose embedded processors. As the name suggests, the single-purpose embedded processors are used in an embedded system only for a single unique purpose. They act independently by providing the necessary information to the host processor. It includes 
a core processor for floating point processing, network processor, graphic processor, pixel processor, accelerator, codec, etc. Floating point core processors are used to speed up the floating point operations. NC6881 and NC6882 are the floating point core processors from NXP semiconductors. The network processors is used for operation of establishing the network connections, sending and receiving acknowledgments. It's also for sending transmission requests and also checking for any errors in data transmission. C25TMNP is a network processor manufactured by NXP semiconductors. Windpath network processor family from microchip is purposely designed for optimized for network access. The graphic processors is used in a system for high quality gaming functions, viewing videos and images and processing them. The AMD and Intel are top manufacturers for graphic processors. Similarly, Cordec is a single processor unit which is used to encode the information or data which is to be stored or transmitted and decode the received information. Application Specific Integrated Circuits Application Specific Integrated Circuit is an integrated circuit designed for particular use rather than intended for general purpose use. ASICs are typically designed and used by a single company for a specific system. Such embedded processors need more time and more resources to develop the IC and hence are expensive but they give extremely high performance. Modern embedded systems are fabricated with ASICs and contain over 1 billion transistors. They are also fabricated with metal oxide semiconductor technology. Modern ASICs are often include microprocessors, memory blocks and other building blocks which is often termed as a system on chip or SOC. Altera, Honeywell, Intel, Texas, etc. are top manufacturers of ASICs. Application Specific Standard Products or ASSPs it is an integrated circuit that is used for specific function application for a wide range of market for a long a long run. ASSPs are available for off-shelf components which provide easy integration and interoperability with existing systems components. ASSPs are used in all industries starting from automotive applications to communication devices. It is embedded in control units, microwave electronics, analog to digital converters to communications, ultraviolet detectors, etc. The major advantage of ASSPs are they are cheap and cut down to development time and to a great extent. Hence, it reduces the time on the market on such embedded system. ASICs are sometimes also called ASSPs in a way when these ICs are sold to many customers. System on a chip or SOC A system on chip is an integrated circuit that consists of all or most of the components of a computer or an electronic system on a single chip. It consists of hardware units and a microprocessor or a microcontroller which has software code for hardware to function. The hardware components include microprocessor, memory, timers, interrupt controls, input-output ports, modems, A to D converters, D to A converters, other processing units, etc. 
A typical SOC has more than one processor core, a digital signal processor, network processor, different communication interfaces, RAM, ROM, flash memory, etc. Double eight MW thirty two X etc. are some of the system on chip devices manufactured by NXP semiconductors. Altera analog devices, Infineon, MIP as technologies, Texas Instruments, etc. are the top manufacturers of system on chip SOCs. Field Programmable Gate Array or FPGA the processors that are discussed earlier are built on silicon cores. The architecture of earlier FPGA devices was entirely simple. The FPGA are devices that are built around an array of configurable logical blocks linked via programmable interconnects. The good thing about FPGA is that we can configure its programmable logic to implement any combination of digital function. Also, we can implement algorithm in a parallel fashion, which means we can process a huge amount of data in a fast and efficient manner. The modern FPGA device consists of thousands of adders, multipliers and digital signal processing functions on a chip memory, large number of high-speed serial interconnects, blocks and so on are used. Now let us see the applications of embedded processors. We have already seen different types of embedded processors and each type of embedded processors has its own application, which means that these applications are very, very wide. Embedded processors have been observed in transportable devices like virtual watches, PDAs, digital cameras, GPS gadgets and MP3 players. They also can be located in large structures such as visitor slides, system controlling energy vegetation and also factory controllers. Telecommunication systems also use several embedded systems from smartphone switches to cellular telephones. Embedded processors also are utilized in purchase electronics with game consoles, DVD gamers, printers, etc. Several household equipments together also use embedded systems like microwave ovens, washing machines, dishwashers, etc. Microcontrollers are often used in appliances such as microwave oven, fridges, television, VCRs, stereos, etc. They are used in computer systems and computer gadgets such as laser printers, modems, disk drivers. Also used in motors such as engine manage, diagnostics, climate control, manipulate. They are used in greenhouse, manufacture facilities, used in instrumentation, aerospace and thousand different other uses. Microcontrollers are typically used wherein the processing strength isn't so crucial. Embedded system processor and microcontrollers are appreciably used in robotics and satellites. Therefore, in this video, we have learned about processor chips for embedded applications, different types of processor chips and also their applications. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.